Hello everyone, this is Claire from Claire's Culinary Adventures. Just showing you this pumpkin that's been growing. It was in a little um, container and I decided to plant it up near the edge of the fence up here. Figure I'd get a good, um, a good, um, you know, it would have a place to run. Of course, you know, the gardeners cut it a few times, cut it on both ends. It was running one way, they cut it. Anyway, I want to tell you about uh, the pumpkin, you know, I saw one before and it uh, it fell off. It didn't survive, but this one survived and been growing. And I actually hand pollinated this. Both there's another one. I hand pollinated both of them. I guess I didn't think of pollinating the first one, so it fell off. And um, so now it's getting bigger, and I'm so happy, you know, to know that. Uh, I had pumpkin before, but this is a big, big pumpkin. I had the kabucha, you know, the tough one that you cut and put in soup. And here is the second one. And there, look, I see this little one. Man, it had the flower, but I didn't take a picture then. But there it is. So now I know both of them. I'll get both of them. Of course, you know, the gardeners, they, they're not careful. Oh, man, look how it's getting big. They're not careful, and sometimes they... The um you know a couple of times I had to put some metal if you look you might see in the grass you might see some metal rods that I put there some white stuff that was on my greenhouse I had to put it along here so that they wouldn't um chop it off they cut off both ends and uh, you know the thing was blossoming so nice but anyway my pumpkin is doing good this is the pumpkin I got it from got this last year from somebody he gave me a old pumpkin. And man, this pumpkin is so good, and I save the seeds. Um, it's it's waxy and it's dry. My sister told me to when I cook it to put it in the freezer, and that's what I did. Cook it and put it in the freezer. Cause if you put it in the freezer raw, it's not gonna it's gonna be just put it when you take it out. But when I'm cooking it now, I just take it from the freezer, drop it in the pot, and it come hard same way, just like it's fresh. So I learned something there. So I put it in soup last year and all kind of stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to sell some of the seeds and I'll have more later on. And maybe do a giveaway of some of the seeds. And um, I have a couple more videos for this week that I'm going to upload. And um, because I have a lot of videos piling up. So I'll upload more videos, uh, a few more this week. Telling you about the Gungu, the six month Gungu. And show you my peppers in another video and whatever else i've got growing in the yard so thank you for watching please remember to subscribe if you haven't and um like and share this video especially like this video thank you